Hey Aquarius, this is Alex Angel, and I am here to bring you your first half of 2000, the first half of 2019, really? That would be up until July. But anyway, I'm here to bring you your first half of October 2019 tarot reading. And you got cards flying out, so I'm going to put them down, boo-boos. Um, for this month, like last month, I am using my Healing with the Angels cards, uh, clarified by Standard Rider Weight. Okay? Um, before I can even set my intentions, your cards are flying out. So I do right off the bat feel like a lot of you guys are eager. Um, angels are saying they're ready to get started. They're ready to get things over with. They're ready to be done. Um, I do kind of feel like a lot of you could be having issues with anxiety and or impatience, okay? Which impatience sometimes is the byproduct of anxiety. So chill, um, you know, um, find something to relax you. Find, uh, if you are a meditator, please meditate more. If you're a person who drinks wine and have a couple, throw a couple back, throw some back for your girl. Um, or if you're somebody to, um, you know, kind of use other substances as an example, not illegal substances, but other substances to help you unwind and relax. Um, I do kind of feel like this is a time to do that. I do feel a lot of fiery energy around you guys. Um, and it, that to me just feels like activity. There's been a lot of action, a lot of activity, a lot of movement. Um, angels are saying, especially for some of you guys, it is hard to catch your breath. That's never a good thing because that just means, you know, busy activity um, and things moving around. Um, the beautiful thing, too, is your all of your hard work, work that you feel like you didn't even get to, you didn't accomplish, all of that hard work has already paid off and will pay off. Not only that, but it will pay off in a big, ginormous, tremendous way. So, great job, Aquarius, for number one, hanging in, and then number two, job well done, okay? I have laid your cards out, the moon card with the guardian angel. I kind of feel like for this card here, um, sleepless nights. Um, a lot of you could have issues with, you know, not being able to get to sleep at night. Your minds are running um, too much on uh, daily activities. Not only that, but as a result of that, some of you may just be a little bit irritable and cranky, right? Um, and again, kind of going back to what I said previously, that anxiousness and that um, um, impatience is kind of like making you irritable. Um, what I'm also getting to from this card as well is I kind of feel like some of you guys uh, they're saying like, you feel like it won't happen. It will. Okay. Not only will it, but you have divine order and divine guidance and divine protection to show that it will. Um, this says to me, every time that you may get down, your guardian angel is there to pick you up. Look, look at that. Okay. They're there whether you ask for them to be there or not, and they will help whether you ask for the help or not. So angels are also saying to me, for some of you, I do feel like you feel the presence of your guardian angel or angel around you. It feels like a breeze. It feels like a lightness. It feels like, you know, kind of like this cool air or this brush of air upon you. Um, so just know that you have that angelic support out there. Queen of Wands in abundance. Okay. Um, for my female viewers, this is you, darling. This is you getting it. Okay. Um, abundance will be yours. Um, angels are saying to me, this also represents status, especially status at work. Um, this also, angels are saying, represents a matriarch right? Um, sorry, I'm channeling. Um, the matriarch basically who is head of household. Um, 
and also that she feels like an executive. She feels like a boss. So for a lot of you, especially, you know, my male viewers as well, if this is not you and your energy, because energy is male, female, black, white, up, down, like it's interchangeable, right? So if this is not your energy specifically, Aquarius, this is somebody who holds the fate of your, uh, the decision of all of the hard work that you've been doing. And I'm here to tell you, she is pleased, okay? Not only is she pleased, but she is going to rain upon you abundance, okay? Abundance and prosperity, okay? This is a good reading so far, Aquarius. Go on and do what you do, okay? <laughs> Listening and then the Page of Cups. This is romance, right? Because I kind of feel like this is that like seeping in. It's like all of the work that you've been doing, you know, the ways in which you've been busting your ass, it kind of feels like love just kind of pokes in. It's like, hey, right? Um, Not only that, but I do kind of feel like a lot of you know that as well. You know, this is saying, hey, listen, listen for signs of love, listen for love language, listen for, you know, the ways in which the universe is whispering to you that love and the arrival of love is coming. It's on his way. Um, I just got corrected. Angels are saying it's here. For a lot of you, again, who have been burning the candle at both ends, if you do not agree with it being here, it's because, again, your head has been down for so long um, focusing on your work, your survival, you know, whatever it is, that if you just look up, if you just breathe, if you just stop to listen, you will hear messages of love that are on their way. And like I mentioned to so many of you, before law of attraction um, brings out a manifestation, you start to see signs, right? I do kind of feel like for those of you who've been busy um, and not paying attention, once you do start paying attention, you'll actually see, well, yeah, like, why did that person buy me coffee? Like, I don't even know who this person is. And then, bong, it'll hit you. Hey, she likes you or he likes you. Next couple of cards, continuing on with the flow of love, right? There it is new love. And I promise you, I wasn't looking down. I got to look up. I got to talk to you guys, right? This is you, Aquarius, right? Because it's kind of like, a, um, it's a good and a bad thing, right? You want love, but you're afraid of love. I don't have to say anything else. You want love, but you're afraid of love. You want love, but your past uh, positions or uh, relationships have been shit, have been pure shit, okay? We don't care. We don't care what your past relationships were. You're going to get new love, whether you want it or not. Look at that card. Look at that card. <laughs> they are shooting. They're not asking for permission. Not only that, but they have their target in sight. And that's you, Aquarius. Okay. So what I would recommend for you guys to do is to release all of this, right? Because this one ain't this, right? And you got to be careful because law of attraction, if this energy is high, then this is just going to be a sugar-coated version of this. This is the nine of swords, not the ten. Do not give the universe energy to bring you that last sword, Aquarius. Because again, whatever you are, whoever you are, is what you attract. So if you're still hurting and pining over a previous relationship... Universe is just going to bring you a new relationship to hurt you and somebody new to pine over. Mm -mm, you don't want that. God, I didn't look at these cards. I promise you guys I didn't look at these cards. Healing in the Nine of Cups. Ah, fucking awesome. I'm sorry. I'm telling you. It's just like, I'm in awe sometimes of like, you know, this information that I receive. Anyway, signs in Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups, not nine excuse me, not 10, just nine. So the universe is attempting to bring you your 
extra cup so you can have 10 cups, okay? But again, you guys have to heal, right? You gotta, you gotta sit down, you gotta be vulnerable, you have to find somebody safe, you have to find somebody who you trust to, to open up your heart and pour out your heart. And by the way, as a shameless plug, I do do healings as well. I do past life regressions and I do current life regressions. So if you are in need of healing, um, it's easy for me to do, quite honestly, because I'm not emotionally invested. And I think my shortest healing session in the history of the world took 15 minutes. Why? Because I knew where to go. I knew what the healing was. I knew the person I was dealing with. And hint, hint, they didn't even know what I was doing, right? Now, a lot of you may be like, oh, you know, that's offensive, invasive, whatever, whatever. Nah, B. I was doing it out of love. Not only that, but they gave me permission. Anyway, back to your Aquarius. You need to heal um, to bring forth, darling, that 10th cup or excuse me, that extra cup to make them 10. Not only that, but angels are also saying to me too, this is where you're going to progress. This is where you're moving towards. Um, this healing, angels are saying, this healing and healing cycle will bring you towards the 10 of cups, okay? And sorry, I was just looking at the last two cards because I'm excited. I'm excited for you, Aquarius. I wanna see the last two cards, you know, to see what's gonna happen next. Um, answered prayer and temperance. Chill out, it's coming. <clears throat> we've heard you, we heard, we've heard your cry. Um, by the way, there's no such love as, excuse me, there's no such thing as hurtless love, okay? If you put yourself out there, if you open up your heart, you always run the risk of being hurt. I think I heard a definition of love is, Love is trusting the person who can destroy you, trusting them not to. That's the epitome of what it is to love, okay? So if you think you're going to love and you're not going to get hurt, mail me some of the stuff you're smoking because that ain't going to happen. Not on this planet. I don't know about other planets, but not on this planet, okay? So please know that the universe, because... The prayer that I'm hearing, believe it or not, because I can tap into that too. The prayer that I'm hearing for a lot of you is, and please don't let this person hurt me. It's not going to happen. By the way, if you do meet somebody who never hurt you and y'all live happily ever after, please be sure to get some of their blood so we can clone the fuck out of them and create more people like that. Because again, it just doesn't happen. But anyway... You've done the work, Aquarius. I love that card for you, Temperance, because she's mixing and blending. Um, I do feel like a lot of you guys were, you know, kind of committed to the process. And believe it or not, as much as Aquarius love their freedom, you guys are pretty loyal and pretty committed to things. Um, of course, like everybody else, it it like like everybody else, you are only gonna commit to whatever you deem important enough to commit to. But I do feel like you guys have done the work. You have been on both sides of the coin. You've hurt and beat, you know, you were the person who hurt, you got through it, you asked for forgiveness, you resolved your own issues, you um, didn't sugarcoat everything and you're kind of actually going through the healing process quite nicely. This card here is just basically saying, whatever it is that you've been asking for is on its way with the small caveat that again, you have to evolve so you cannot have love without pain, unfortunately, okay? So my dear, wonderful Aquarius, I hope that helped. That was a fun reading, okay? If you're wanting more information, contact details are below. Enjoy your first half of October, Aquarius. Take care.